Cigarettes. That's all I have. Okay. That's all I got. For us. So I yeah. could. I could. Get okay. It. No, that's fine. That, okay. Come on, just come on. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Talk about partner. Yeah, we'll see you. You good if we come in and chat with you for a second? Yeah, it's a mess. It's through garbage everywhere. Is that? I know. I need to turn it over. Let's, do you want to sit down? Do you want to be a little more comfortable somewhere? I'm sorry, I'm just like, the house is like horrifying right now because he's like went fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. I have anxiety and I'm having like really bad chest pains. And then you know that your mouth. Toward me, and like him hitting me, and he was like raising his hand up toward me. So you're at the you're at the movie theater. Yeah. Is that when he made the initial? Yeah, he, he like hit me in my arm several times because I just tried to grab him, don't hold his hand, and then I just I got up and went to the bathroom. Said, boys, you stay here in the movie theater. It's okay. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom, and I okay. just, like, I just cried. And he, he, he followed me, and I guess he went outside and smoked or something like that. But I didn't see him for the rest of the movie. Were you kids at the movie? Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. So after that, you guys kind of split ways. You came yeah. back and watched the rest of the movie. Well, we I watched the rest of the movie. He was gone the rest of it okay. after that and then we came back home just two hours ago and he started spazzing out and throwing things and acting so I thought 
I'm sorry, what's that? Referee? He started throwing things around and acting psycho, saying he wanted his car. And I'm like, no, you've been drinking. And you're not acting right. You're acting delusional. And his eyes get like, like, black. Become black. Past history? With what? Past history. With him? Both you guys? Well, me, my past history is depression and anxiety. Oh, I just mean between you guys. Any domestic, anything that's happened before? No. Has he hit you before? No? Never. Okay. He just gets drunk and gets psycho. How hard did he hit you? Can I see? It's hard. I mean, there's not, not really any. I said bitch where? You said that was with an open hand? Yeah, it was an open hand. He kept raising his hand at me and I was like, Jason, what the hell? Can I take a picture of your picture? You said bitch where? Top is where you yeah. Like, okay. How bad did that hurt? I don't know. I'm really good at taking pain. I have fibromyalgia. Huh. So, it wasn't that bad. It was like three, four. Three or four at a time? Guys came back here yes. and he made some threatening gestures. Yeah, he kept raising. Uh, he, he was. He went to bed. He went to the bed right away. Okay. And he kept raising his hands at me, and I'm like, I'm scared of you. Please stop. Well, yeah, that was. You feel like it, he was still intoxicated yeah, this time. And then he went outside, I guess, and took a walk, and then came back, so yelling and screaming at me, demanding me to give him his car keys. And I'm refusing because I'm like, I'm not letting you drive when you're like this. Hey, mm -hmm. I, I. And then I call you guys, so. I don't know what to do. I just, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to press charges. I just. He needs help. Besides, uh, like drinking, what, what other. I don't know. What do you see like, him going through? Yeah, exactly. He. He hears things and sees people at night. Okay. And then he's like, he he's like paranoid that everyone's watching him. Like there's cameras in him. He thinks there's cameras. There's back camera there, but it's YouTube. No, he thinks there's literally cameras all over the house sometimes. Okay. He gets really paranoid about this stuff. He gets paranoid about me, and I'm like, I'm with you all the time. You guys married? Engaged. Well, okay, for how long? A year. One year. Okay. And you have children together? No, they're my, Just they're my two, boys. Yeah. Two boys? Okay. As you can yeah, see, yeah. they're sleeping, thank God. It just comes to the point that I just, I can't. Did they see any of this happen? No. You said he was throwing some stuff around? Obviously. Did he break anything or just No, he made just mess? got mad and started throwing things. At you? Uh, yeah. Christmas tree is knocked over? Yeah, is that his doing? No, that was ours. I'm slowly taking it down. Okay. I know, it's May. I have fibromyalgia. I just don't feel like taking it, everything down at once. But anyway, he started throwing the garbage. So I got to clean that up. Just, I was doing laundry. So it's like, ugh, I just, I just, weird. I just want to go to bed. It was a long night. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know what you want to do with him. I don't, I don't know if you want to keep him here or we stay separate. I don't know. I don't want to press charges on him because I know he wasn't thinking right at the time. But at the same time, I also know he needs help. So it's like, ugh. what do you guys think? Yeah, you guys. Both signed in the lease here? Yeah. Okay. No, it's not. How long have you lived here for? Um, almost a year. In July, it'll be a year. So shortly after you were engaged, you moved in here? Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Stay right here with my partner. Let me go. How, how's your heart doing? Is it calming down a bit, or do you want yeah, my paramedics to come and it's check just, you out? It's calming down a bit. It's just, it's just heavy. Okay. Do you want them to come?
throw an EKG or whatnot on to make sure it's beating fine. Well, I'm sure it's anxiety. I've had it so many times. I'm not having like like pains in my arms or anything. I know all the symptoms for a heart attack. It's just like I need to calm down and rest and sleep this through and sleep this off. Right. Sounds sounds like a plan to me. And then gotta, wake up and clean my house again. We just gotta ask a few follow up questions, make sure everything's okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So you guys, do you know what started yeah. at the movie theater? No. It's just out of the blue. It was out of the blue. I did not. I did not. So were you in the movie theater when he hit you, or were you? Huh? In, were you in the movie theater when? Yeah, he hit we were you? at the movie theater watching it. He he claims he he doesn't remember it. But you were in the theater? We were in the theater, yeah. Okay, were you sitting down? Yeah. Where were the kids? We, the kids were right on this side of me. He was on this side of me. I tried to pull my arm on him. He doesn't remember it. Like, he doesn't remember it. That's the thing. So you wanted to put your hand on him? Was that to calm him down? Was he acting strange? Or? No, I just wanted... If we were in the movie theater, I just wanted to hold his hand. Okay. And what did, what did he do from there? He, he smacked your hand away? He did this or? smack, smack, smack on my arm, and I tried to... I thought I hurt him by accident. Didn't know that. And then he did it again, and then he did it again. Were you kind of digging your nails into him, trying to get his hand, or...? No, I just wanted to hold his hand! So he smacks your hand once, or...? Several times, five, like five times he smacked it. And it's just, I just want, wanted to hold his hand. I just wanted a good day. So you pulled your hand away from him, and then what happened? Yeah. I got up, told the boys to stay here, and I went to the bathroom and cried. So it was a pretty significant slap then if... It was more like my feelings hurt. Okay. And not knowing what to do next. Did he come out and meet you in the bathroom or in the lobby area or did you no, go back? No, I think he was out smoking. How old are the kids? Twelve and ten. So they didn't know you were upset at the time? Huh? Did they know you were upset when you got up and left or did... No, they just thought I had to go to the bathroom. And then after the movie, you guys all went back. Did all four of you come back here in the same car? Yeah. I was kind of afraid to do it, but I did it anyway. I love him. What were you afraid of? How he's a how he acts aggressively when he's drinks. Did you? Yeah. Did you think he was going to hit you again? I I was. Has that ever happened before, or is it usually just verbally aggressive when he drinks? It happened before when he drunk, before when we lived in Pennsylvania. It happened once. But he was drunk. It's like, I know he was a drinker. I just wanted to help him. And I don't know how to help him anymore. He's frustrating the hell out of me. We'll work on something. We'll try and figure out the best option to get, get him and to help you. I just so you guys got back here and was everything going okay? Can you uh, keep your eye on both of us? Yeah. Do you want me to go up? No, can we walk upstairs? I'm going to sit right over there. All right. So you guys are back here. And the What's going to happen to him? I don't know right now. We're still, still trying to figure out what, what options we have tonight. So you were sitting... Or you came back and you put the boys to bed. Yeah. And what happened from there? Was he still yelling or? Yeah, he got he got in my he kept getting in my face and raising his hand to me. I didn't know what to do. How close were you guys when he was raising his hand? We were sitting next to each other in bed. Was he making a fist? Yeah, and I was like, "Will you calm down?" Would you, would and I, 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 admit, I did slap him across the face because I was like frightened, like calm down, like step out of it. So you guys were in the bed. Yeah, he was getting right like this close in my face. I didn't know what to do. I don't want to go to jail. I'm, I'm not trying to 
get anyone in trouble. I, I just want to make sure I, I just wanted to be safe. Was he kind of stopping you from leaving the room, or were you guys just sitting there together? Hey, well, I, I felt like it was pinned in. Because my computer's on, like, how, how the, my computer was on this side of it, and he was on my other side, and it was just like... slapped him once in the face. Did that get him away from you, or did that make him more mad? He walked, he got up and walked. It did get him a little bit really mad. But it's like, I need help. Is that when he, uh, started throwing stuff around at Yeah. You? And was that all out here, or did he throw stuff around in the bedroom, in too? In the bedroom, too, everything. He just... But Trash and plays pissed off. And nothing's broken. Oh, God. I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm stressed to the core, and I just want to go to sleep and then clean this up tomorrow. My chest hurts so bad. We'll have medical come in and check you out, and just to make sure we don't want, we don't want anything to happen to you. He Last scares time. me when he pisses like this. He scares me so bad. Was he grabbing you at all while he was getting in your face in the bedroom? By the wrists or by always, the hair? He always or... grabs me by the wrists. Did that cause any pain or just kind of restricted your movement? Just restricted me. I don't know what to do. Were you I... yelling at all? Of course, I was yelling. What were you saying? Stop, calm down, can we just sleep on this? And what, what was his response? He didn't want to. He wanted to continue to fight, and then he's like, I want my keys, I want my keys. No, I'm not giving you your keys when you're like this. And what happened when you came out here and he was throwing stuff around? He just knocked things over and shit. Pissed off. Any more physical contact between you guys? No. Yeah. Thank God. I just want to go to bed. And what happened when he saw that you were calling us? Huh? What did he do when he noticed you were calling us? He went out in the living room and kept saying sorry. It's hurting so bad. Okay, the ambulance is here. I think they're just walking in, so. I can't take stress anymore. My last marriage, I was raped by my husband. I I'm so sick of men. Hi, miss. Hi. Tell me what's going on with you. Are you I've hurt? I have a really sharp chest pain. Okay. Describe it to me. You say it's sharp. Like a knife sticking in it. Okay, really cute. It's point to point again where? Right, right in the middle. Okay. Yeah. When did it start? When he started right. fighting me. Okay. Physically fighting or arguing? I don't know. Arguing. And I, I'm sorry, I never asked your name. Shannon. So Shannon has sharp pain right in the middle of her chest right here. Okay. It started with their fight. Um, that's as far as I got so far. I don't know. It might be anxiety. I do have yeah. acute anxiety. You do? Okay. Does it feel like a panic attack? Are you it, shaking? It, yeah, it, do, it does. But, I mean, I don't know if it is or not. Yeah. Okay. Because it, it's a sharp pain. Okay. Do you want to go to the hospital? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just want to go to bed. I want to sleep. That's all I want to do is just sleep. I understand that. <sighs> Do you take, uh, like, Xanax or anything for acute? Nope. No, I just, I, 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 I was doing GBT when I was living in Minnesota. Okay. So I did the dialectic behavior therapy, so I do coping techniques. Okay. I learned in dialectic behavior therapy, but right now it's just like, I just, I want everything to go right with us. And he has a substance abuse problem, and I don't know how to help him. 
What kind of coping techniques do you usually kind of go through? Um, I do the churning of the mind. Um, okay. I do. Have you heard of the green frog technique? No. no. No, you say green frog, green frog, green frog everywhere, and it like kind of centers your attention to your logical mind. Um, pointing out objects in the room, mm -hmm. saying what they are, what color they are. There's that type of coping technique. Um, soothing. I take it about and relax, and I tried to do that today. I hit my acting out, but. Has this, have you been having this anxious feeling in the, the pain? Have you had that all day? Yeah. Okay. Why don't we try to work through some of your techniques? Yeah. You could teach us. Well, I told him. Yeah. I told him to just back off and just leave me alone. Just... Yeah. Have some space. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think that's pretty simple for someone when they say back off, leave me alone, don't keep mm -hmm. going at them. Just. What kind of animal do you have? I have two Here. guinea pigs. She loves guinea pigs. I have she two has guinea, guinea pigs, pigs too. Also. And I yeah. just got them with that same treat I got stick thing. His name is Stilly and Cheech. Which one's which? Uh, the fully brown, the brown one with the little white streak. That's Cheech, and the other one's Stilly. Aw, okay. Calico one, Stilly. Aww, are they scared of strangers? <laughs> They're like, yeah, they are. They're scared, they're, they're scared of people too. Oh, oh, yeah. Those are little guys. So. I mean, I, yeah, I just got them like two weeks Aww, ago. They're mine so are, cute. Mine are like ten months now, and they're like this. They get really big. Oh wow, I'm really big. I'm training them right now to get used to human touch. It takes a while. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure all of us people coming in here, they're probably like, what's going on? Hi guys. I'll be okay. You know, I know he didn't, he didn't, he don't remember what he did, that's the thing. He don't remember. And it's not productive to necessarily have a conversation when somebody's still intoxicated or something like no, that. Yeah. That's a challenging thing. Yeah. And I feel like tonight you just need to focus on yourself and work through those exercises you have, do the soothing stuff, take a, take a oh, raw yeah. bath, drink a cup of hot tea. I'm and worry about yourself to tonight, and then tomorrow you can deal with, you know, having a discussion and those things. But and like figuring out what's going to happen. Right. Like she said, it's not productive whenever yeah. somebody is under the influence of something. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. It's not. It's not. And it's only going to make you more upset and frustrated. Yeah. So the, the best thing to do is, is just like we said, just you, you worry about you right now. That, that's what's important. Okay. Okay. Um, do you mind if we yeah. check your vital signs? Yeah. Okay. Is that pain subsiding at all? A little bit, yeah. Okay, good. Sorry for the mess. Hey, no, 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 don't worry about it. I hate What's my that? house messy. It's insane right now. Yeah, yeah, you guys are okay. Yeah, 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 yeah,
I just want to go to bed. Jenny, you're getting yourself all worked up. You're doing so good there. <laughs> Sorry. So good there. Think about, look, look at your guinea pigs. I always, like, when I would get upset, I would look at my dog, and he would always bring me comfort. And like I said, you got to work on the things that are going to soothe you and, and help you take care of you. Yeah. Just thinking about it and getting worked up about it, because that's not productive right now. All that's going to do is just hurt you. So he's obviously intoxicated, and you know there's there's not not going to be a productive conversation tonight. Could he just stay in the living room, and I could just go in the bedroom? I, I don't. That we don't know. That might be a possibility. I have to check with my partners and see. Maybe taking him to the crisis center so he can talk to an expert or something. Like I don't care. Him. I just want to get sleep and just yeah, get, get something. Sleep. Get some water and just sleep and just rest. Can I get you a glass of water right now? No, it's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just like so freaking like. I just, I just want, I just, I just need alone time. I think what it is. I'm just so fucking nervous and anxious, and I just, I need, I need, I need time. Do yourself your self care. Okay. <sighs> I just need yeah. to get you to sign something here. I can't believe he doesn't remember any of the stuff. I'm going to explain it to you first. Okay, so this this is just what we call our usual medical care form of transportation. As we're here, we evaluated you. At this time, you don't want to go to the hospital. This doesn't mean by signing this that you can't call us back or something changes, okay? You can always call us back. Um, uh, you know, I would, I would follow up with your doctor. It sounds like you have a history of anxiety and maybe you need for acute anxiety attacks, something to kind of kind of help you through that if, um, you know, your, your, your coping mechanisms aren't working. So I, I don't think it would hurt to talk to your doctor and follow up with him. Um, you can always, you know, if you decide you want to go to the hospital later, call us or have somebody else take you or whichever way you want to get there. But um, this, this isn't like a, a final thing, okay? It's just that you evaluate it. Yep. And that you're assuming responsibility for your own care. Okay? So... Anything that happens from here on out is your responsibility. Yeah, we'll do. So if you can just write all those where it says patient initial, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. If you can just put your initials by each of those. It is the 15th still, I believe. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. I'm sorry. It's Take okay. slow, slow for breaths. Inflate your lungs, feel them inflate, and then release it. And just keep doing that. Those nice slow breaths, okay? Okay. Do you mind just signing into our witness? One thing to do is kind of breathe in on the count of four, and then hold your breath for four seconds, and then breathe out for six. Yeah. It kind of helps you slow your breathing down. Stop kind of routine off. Off all the Hi, little guys. I'm shaking so bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
What's the, the multicolored one's name? Oh, Silly. Silly. Yeah. Silly. Did you see Silly run out, like, under the slide? Yep. <laughs> you should try giving them a bath. They're really funny when you bathe them. Oh, gosh. I have one that really hates it, and the other one just floats around, and it's kind of a <laughs> All right, Shannon. Okay. Have a good night. You too. Remember, self-care, okay? All right. You know what's going to happen. I think, I think they're waiting for the ambulance to clear out and then we'll probably come talk to you and explain what's happening. Um, do you feel a little better after being checked out? 30. My heart's still beating this album. I'll be okay. I just need a rest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I just need a rest. I just need a rest. What part of Pennsylvania did you come from? Scranton. I hated it. I moved out to Scranton, Pennsylvania for a from Minnesota. I did a lot for him. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. tonight during the argument and things like that, did you have laid hands on him? I did slap him once. You did? Across the face. Across the face. I didn't know what to do. Is he pressing charges on me? It's not a fact that he uh, is pressing charges or not pressing charges. We have an obligation in this situation. He hit me too. So. Did you, besides you slapping him across the face, did you hit him with anything else? No. You didn't whip him with one of the uh, whip things you guys got? <laughs> no. He got in my face. I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So that's the only contact you made with him. Mm -hmm. yes. He doesn't remember what he did to me at all. I don't know. We're not talking about that right now. I'm just asking you. It's besides the slap across the face, did you make any other contact? I've been telling him to leave me alone tonight. I just want to go to bed. Did you make any other contact with him besides slapping across the face? No. Okay. I've been telling him to leave me alone. Go. Take a walk. Go. Leave me alone. I want. I just want to go home. I just want to sleep. Uh, we're here now, so we need to figure this out. I'm not feeling good. I just want to sleep. things they're talking about. We have a sex toy where we whip each other. <laughs> it's one of the it's like it's one of those fuzzy things. Definitely has its hard points. Seems like tonight's one of those. He's never drinking again in my presence. Ever. That might be a good call. I never, ever want to go through this again with him. Yeah. Wouldn't want to go through it with anyone. He doesn't remember what he's done. It's like he blacks out. How many drinks did you say he had? He only had three. Only three in the movie theater. Like anything else that once he got back here? Or? No, we don't have liquor in the house. We don't have any liquor. 
liquor in the house. I don't, don't like liquor because of how he acts with it. What kind of drinks did he have in the theater? He had an Angry Orchard, one of those uh, margaritas, and what was the other one? A Dos Equis. What movie were you guys seeing? Detective Pikachu. Is that a cartoon or? Yeah, kind of sort of. Was it any good? What I saw of it, it was good. It was good. I had a lot of fun watching it. It's just. I need to sleep. I really do. I'm exhausted. My heart keeps hurting. I think we'll get out of here pretty quick. Just give us a second and we'll. I'm so tired. How's he with your kids? Is he pretty good with them most of the time? He ignores them most of the time. He's not good with the kids. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm just thinking maybe I should just pack up and move down to Florida and just say fuck it all. What's in Florida? Nothing. Other than just me disappearing. What brought you to Boulder? I lived here when I was 17 and I fell in love with it. And I spent 20 years trying to get back here. But it's like... Were you born in Colorado? Was I born in Colorado? No, I was born in New York. So you've kind of been around the country. I've lived all over the country, uh... What's your favorite so far? It's always been here. I love this part of the country. It's just... Yeah. I don't know. Florida would be nice because it's warm. Yeah. It'd be easier on my fibro. I get to go on a beach. Just relax. I just... I just want peace in my life. I want peace. Wants this anymore. I don't want to constantly fight with him. I just want to go to bed right now. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Sorry, I'm not very talkative. That's fine. Whatever helps you calm down and get your center back, I'm, I'm good with. Yeah. I can't believe he doesn't remember any of that shit we did. Can you go through, like, blackouts when you drink like that? Just even a little bit? I think it depends on each person's biology and how much they have to drink and what they usually drink. He, he blacks out. He doesn't remember what he did. Maybe he's lying that he doesn't remember what he did. Maybe he does. He does remember and he's lying. Well, that's definitely a possibility, but... What do you think I should do? I honestly have so little information on your life that I I wouldn't know where to start. I'd make sure you're in a relationship you feel is healthy and happy for you and anyone. your kids. So. Except me and the kids, dude. I don't have anyone. Maybe if 
focus your efforts on your kids if your the other relationships aren't going well or maybe this one's worth working on I don't sounds like there might be a clear cause for when he goes off so maybe that's something you guys can work on and address true or maybe you guys aren't right for each other I don't I don't know how that works but it sounds like you've been together over a year and made some pretty big commitments with each other so we've known each other for seven years though man been friends for seven years we were friends before anything we were to death like my marriage fell apart and we became romantic. But it's like you can't keep going through this heartache over and over and over again. You know it's tough, but and I that's... don't want to be abused by another guy. The last husband raped me and beat the shit out of me. Husband before that was a fucking crackhead, so you can imagine what he was up to. And then boyfriend of assholes, pawn assholes, and it's like I, I can't. I, I'm just I'm done. I think with relationships, I'm just done. I'm tired of getting hurt. I don't want to be hurt anymore. I just want happiness. All I want to do is lay down. Oh, I'm lay down here. We're almost there. So you guys have been living together for the last year? Is he a kind of a father figure for your children? Would you be comfortable with him watching your children if you weren't here? Why won't I be here? Now answer the question. No. No? What? Am I getting arrested? So here's our options. If you're not comfortable with watching, having him watch the children, we're going to have to call somebody else to come pick them up. Am I being arrested? Okay, I'm okay. 
I have anxiety and I'm having like really bad chest pains. Do you have any medical conditions that we need to be concerned about besides anxiety right now? No. Okay. So just let us know if you feel like you need an ambulance. He like he was like drinking. He got me questions of what happened. Like we went to the movie theater and like he had three drinks and in the middle of watching like Detective Pikachu, he start I, like went to grab his hand to hold it right and started smacking my hand. He started yelling like I was disgusted. And he doesn't even remember. He says he doesn't even remember it. So he had three beers. Yeah. Okay. Three drinks. Did he, first of all, did he hit you or make any contact with you? Yeah, he slapped me here. Something that might have caused you pain that you would want to press charges? I don't want to press charges. I just want him to get some fucking help. Okay, is he seeing anybody right now? He needs to. Does, he needs to. Is he, he not goes seeing? Through, he goes through these stages where he sees and hears things. Okay. And I don't know what to do. I it scares me, and it's like, tonight he just got so, like, aggressive toward me. Okay. Well, well. And, like, him hitting me, and he was, like, raising his hand up toward me. So you're at the, you're at the movie theater. Yeah. Is that when he made the initial... Yeah, he, he like, hit me in my arm several times, because I just tried to grab him to hold his hand, and then I just, I got up and went to the bathroom said, boys, you stay here in the theater. It's okay. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. And okay. I like, it was just riot. Your family was your, your kids he, with you? He followed me, and I guess he went outside and smoked or something like that, but I didn't see him for the rest of the movie. Were your kids at the movie with you? Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. 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 All right, so after that, you guys kind of split ways. You came back and watched the rest of the movie. Well, we I watched the rest of the movie. He was gone. The rest of it. Okay. After that. And then we came back home just two hours ago. And he started spazzing out and throwing things and acting psycho. I'm sorry, what's that? He started throwing things around and acting psycho saying he wanted his car. And I'm like, no, you've been drinking. And you're not acting right. You're acting delusional. Okay. His eyes get like, like, black. Past history that you didn't know about? With what? Past history. With him? With both you guys? Well, me and my past history is depression and anxiety. No, oh, I just mean between you guys. Any domestic, anything that's happened before? No. Has he hit you before or anything? No, never. Okay. He just gets drunk and gets psycho. How Can I see? I mean, there's not, not really any mark or anything. Yeah. They kept raising his hand at me and I was like, Jason, what the hell? What if I take a picture of you? Just your arm. It's like on the top is where you, yeah, where you hit? Right okay. How bad would that hurt? Okay, thank you. I don't know. I'm not going to take a pain. I have fibromyalgia. So, it wasn't that bad. It was like three or four. Three or four out of ten. Okay, and you guys came back here and he made some threatening gestures. Yeah, he kept raising. I, he was. He went to bed. He went to the bed right away. Okay. And he kept raising his hands at me, and I'm like, I'm scared of you. Please stop. You feel like it, he was still intoxicated at this time. Okay. And then he went outside, I guess, and took a walk, and then came back yelling and screaming at me, demanding me to give him his car keys. And I'm refusing because I'm like, I'm not letting you drive when you're like this. <laughs> hey, I, and then I call you guys, so I don't know what to do. Yeah. I just, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to press charges. I just, he needs help. Okay. Besides, uh, like drinking, what, what other, I don't know. What do you see like, him going through? He, yeah, exactly. he hears things and sees people at night. Okay. And then he's like, he he's like paranoid that everyone's watching him. Like there's cameras in 
he thinks his camera's back camera there, but it's YouTube. No, he thinks there's literally cameras all over the house sometimes. Okay. He gets really paranoid about the set. He gets paranoid about me, and I'm like, I'm with you all the time. You guys married? Engaged. Well, Engaged for how long? Almost a year. One year? Okay. And you have children together? No, never mind. Just they're both two boys. Yeah. two boys? Okay. As you can yeah, see, they're yeah. sleeping, thank God. And it just comes to the point that I just, I can't. Did they see any of this happen? You said he was throwing some stuff around? Obviously. No, he just got mad and started throwing things. So the yeah. Christmas tree is knocked over? Is that his doing? No, that was ours. I'm slowly taking it down. Okay. I know, it's May. I have fibromyalgia. I just feel like taking everything down at once. But anyway, he started throwing the garbage. So I got to clean that up. This, it was the laundry. It was like, I just, I just, I just want to go to bed. It was a long night. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know what you want to do with him. I don't, I don't know if you want to keep him here or we stay separate. I don't know. I don't want to press charges on him because I know he was sleeping right at the time. But at the same time, I also know he needs help. So it's like, what do you guys think? Do you guys both signed on the lease here? Yeah. Okay. No, it's not. It's okay. Um, almost a year. In July, it'll be a year. So shortly after you didn't hear? Yeah. Okay. We'll just stay right here with my partner and I'm going to go talk to your fiance. Sorry. What's your name, sir? It's Jason. Jason, okay. Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Seven. Yeah, about seven. Okay. And that's, is that normal for you, Jason? Yeah, no, no. I, I haven't been reading. Really, so it's like, yeah, it's. Okay, so apparently you guys went to the movies. Mm -hmm. Do you have all those drinks at the movies? No, I had, I, I had like two, I had like four at the theater, and like, and like three, and like three mm -hmm. at the restaurant. Yeah. Okay, and then you guys, you said you guys kind of kind of got a little disagreement? Yeah. Did you, did you raise your hand to her? No, I did not do that. Did you touch her at all? No, I did not, I did not raise a hand to her at all. Did you make any physical contact? No. Even hitting her on the arm or anything? I mean, she, I... <laughs> Yeah, we're getting two different stories now. Wait, wait, I know. When when somebody's touching you, sometimes you touch them. You know okay. what I mean? Like, she's touching me, so what am I supposed to do? Like, okay. Well, you know what I... It's not what we're being told. Yeah, like, am I, spo am I supposed to just, like, let her break my neck or something? Like, break it, break it. Not even talking about breaking your neck. Said so you made contact with her arm. Did you not hit her arm? No, I... What I'm saying is, if she's coming at me, like, am I, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to, like, like, like this or something? Okay. So you're saying you didn't even touch her, and then you're saying that you, you did. I mean, what, what's the deal? She touched me. She touched She came at me. Okay. I was just putting my hands like that to, to try and be like, she's a big girl, right, man? You know? She was trying to touch me, so I'm just like... What, yeah. what kind of past medical history do you have? With past medical history? Yeah, do you have any past medical history? I I, Depression? Do you see anybody? Talk to a therapist at all? Yeah, I have. You have? Yeah. Okay. Are you currently doing that? No. Okay, when did you stop? How long ago? I mean, if you can consider it, in 2012. 2012? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I wasn't exactly seeking counsel, but... Can I have a zone in the it is what it is. So. No, I think he was out smoking. Now, is that something that you should be doing right now? Do 
You feel like I, don't, I don't think so, man. But I mean, if, if she doesn't want me here, it's just I said I want my keys. I just wanted my keys to go get a bomb last minute. You know, I, that's all I wanted. Mm -hmm. you know? the keys to the vehicle? Yeah. Is it your vehicle or is it shared? It's my vehicle, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the reason she didn't give you the keys is she feel, still felt like you were intoxicated and she didn't want you driving. Yeah, that's what sure. she's saying or whatever, man. But, you know. I love him. And I love you. <laughs> See, that's the how thing. It's crazy. How he acts aggressively when he drinks. Yeah, it, well, obviously. Hey, we, we, yeah, we're trying to kind of keep time. you guys separate right here. I got you, all right. Yeah, like I said, I'm sorry. I regret it. I want, you know. I raised my voice. She got. He was drunk. She got aggressive. And it's like, that's it. Did you, did you throw anything around the house? Trash No, man. I don't know. I don't help him anymore. He's frustrating Okay. Well. Can you uh, keep your eye on both of them for a second? Yeah. Go talk. Sure. Call right by you, okay. You want, yeah. you want me to go out? Just now. Can we walk upstairs and we're going to sit right up there? Yeah, that works out too. All right, sure. Right here for my boss. Okay, right here? Yes, please. Okay, sure. That's it. Try to do it without him hearing things.
bits and pieces of my choreography, and Abby's expecting me to win today, but I'm pretty sure I just blew it. You look strong, honey. Are you okay? Yeah, look strong. Yeah. You all right? Yes. That little boy. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like it and I would love to hear some suggestions on what you would like me to do in upcoming videos and I will see you on the next video.